and you have to win one of these games. You have to beat either uh, Buffalo or Dallas, I think, and you still can see a little light at the end of the tunnel. And what I mean by that, I really thought, now, when you get people back, it doesn't matter who's playing, that we could be a 6-6 six and six, and we're 5-5 five and five right now. We could be a 6-6 six and six team or even 7-7, seven and seven, and you can't give up the goals. Because you look how you close out the season. Uh, we got the Dolphins here on Monday night. And then you finish in the season within the division. Uh, when you're playing, uh, we, we got uh, Carolina at home. Then we got to finish with the Falcons on the road. So you might go to run. But by losing this game to Philadelphia, Christian, I don't know how we get the 10 wins. This is me trying to say uh, we can get 10 and 7. Now I'm thinking best case scenario. And I'm just playing the percentages here kind of 9 and 8. That might be good enough to be the sixth seed in the playoffs, whatever. But it's kind of like what we thought, dealing with all the injuries and the suspension to David and Yamada. And just uh, we've had more bad luck than I thought was going to occur. So uh, this is going back to the beginning of training camp. I kind of thought nine and eight, eight and nine, maybe uh, 10 wins. But right now, I would say the way we're playing and, and not winning the turnover battle, not taking away the football, we're not going to get the 10 wins. We're not opportunistic enough. We need to truly be a dominant defense. Not a good defense or a very good defense at times. We have to be dominant on the defensive side of the ball and take it away. And we're not doing that. Because our offense is not good enough. It is what it is. You look at the weapons and how we're going to win games. We have to have what occurred when we got uh, the fumble. And, and, and now I didn't think we were going to get a touchdown there. Remember when Ringo... We got first and goal of the six. And then all of a sudden, we're going backwards. We still went forward uh, to get a touchdown. Then I thought the officials missed one call when they blew the whistle uh, a, a little too quick as far as punching it out. They said forward progress. Yeah. So they blew the whistle. But those are the kind of breaks that we need to go our way to truly come out on top. I, I, I think um, that we're not going to be favored against Buffalo. Even though we're playing in the Dome, we're not going to be favored against Dallas. But uh, who knows, the way the NFL is this season, we could shock the world who that nation and take care of Buffalo uh, Thanksgiving night and in Dallas on Thursday. Uh, but one game at a time, you beat Buffalo, dealing, then you're feeling better about yourself because now uh, you're not 500, you're one game above 500. But a very disappointing, disheartening loss, especially not how you played in the second half, but how you started the game in the first ha- half. It, it, it was embarrassing and digging yourself too big of a hole to actually have a chance uh, for a great uh, comeback. Now, the penalties, uh, we only had three, so that's a bright uh, – maybe it might be the crew. They only called nine penalties. I like that kind of game. Last week it was 17. Yeah, so uh, always cut that in half. Eight or nine penalties, I think the fans can live with that. They called three against us, uh, six against uh, Philly. So the penalties didn't even come into play. Uh, but the turnover margin, you know, minus two, uh, definitely came into play when all said and done. Uh, now it's two games in a row. Have we stopped Jalen Hurts from running the football? Uh, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, you know, he said, well, look, Randall Cunningham, all the great players they've had with the Eagles and, and you know, the quarterback position, but running the football, uh, Jalen Hurts has a nose for the football. Uh, but Christian, I think Dennis Allen would say that this is an embarrassing situation and uh, Coach Payton, the defense would say this is embarrassing uh, to actually give up 242 yards rushing and basically five yards in attempt. Uh, they would say, no, we're supposed to have the number one run defense. Well, the Eagles said not so fast, and they ran it down. It's a bad matchup. They, they, yeah. just, they just match up well with the Saints. I'm talking about the Eagles. Well, and, and that happened last year. Uh, that happened last season when you're looking at the matchups and, and them wanting to run the football, and they were able to do that, uh, Christian, if you look at it, you know, the Saints had only allowed two teams since 2017 to rush for more than 100 yards. Well, uh, there was the Washington this season, but the Eagles last year and the Eagles this year. Uh, when we lost to the Eagles in 2020, it was the worst game for the run defense since 2014. Uh, you know, we gave up last year. Christian actually did better than we did last year. Uh, but but, but <laughs> look, look, you don't think this is an average? You know, we gave up last year. 246. You know, we gave up this year 242. Well, they would have had 244 had they not had those two kneel downs but, 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 and lost but, a but yard. Christian, the point I'm making 
That's the same thing. Yeah. 246 yards, 242. The bottom line, the Eagles said, like, man, uh, okay, you might be the number one run defense, but you ain't played us yet. And we're going to see how you're going to stop us. So a very disappointing loss, 40 to 29. To me, the score was closer than the, that the game uh, should have actually even uh, come about. The Saints kept fighting, uh, but it, it, you still lost. It doesn't matter if you lose by one point, uh, you lose by four touchdowns. It was a very humbling loss again. And now the Saints got to bounce back, considering uh, Christian. No one has won more games than the Saints the last four seasons, but now they've lost uh, three in a row for 2021 season. That's a wrap for Bobby Bear's rant. Get to your calls next. We are just getting started here on the point after. Saints fall 40-29. to 29.